guys! So today for you all, I'm so excited because I'm going to be filming a video that I've been waiting to film since it appeared here on the YouTube community. And this is a tag video and it is the Holly Jolly Holiday Tag. And I'm super excited to film this. I have had the questions for this tag saved on my computer since I saw the first, like, person do it since I saw the very first video of it go up and I've just been waiting to film this tag but I was waiting for it to be a little closer to Christmas because it's a mainly Christmas associated tag but I'm just so beyond excited to be filming this tag. The questions are super cute and it's just a really fun holiday festive tag so I'm really excited to film this for you guys today and I just think it's a really fun tag and I always forget to say this in my tag videos but I tag you, yes I tag you right there watching this video right now, I tag you to do this and I tag anyone else who wants to do this. And if you don't have a webcam or anything, just leave your responses in the comments below because I would love to see um, your responses to this tag because it's just a really cute, fun tag. But it's a really interesting tag, so we are going to get started. Okay, question one. Favorite Christmas movie? And I have a ton of favorite Christmas movies. And of course, I have to include, like, The Grinch and Elf. They are, of course, two of my favorite Christmas movies. I think they're probably everyone's two favorite Christmas movies. And last year, I had a really fun time watching The Grinch because I've seen it a bunch of times and so have all my friends and we can like all recite it. I know that's creepy. But the day before Christmas Eve, a, me and a couple of my other girlfriends, we went to my friend Michaela's house. She's my best friend. And we all just sat around and did a little Pollyanna with each other and watched The Grinch and we all like recited it. And it was really fun. You know, it was just fun. But then one of my other favorite Christmas movies, favorite, favorite Christmas movies, this is actually a really short movie, and it is um, A Charlie Brown Christmas. And most of you have probably seen it. It comes on TV every year. But it's just a tradition in my family. We always watch The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown and The Christmas Special of Charlie Brown. And it's just, it really is just a tradition with my immediate family. We watch it every year. So that's just super fun. So that is definitely one of my other favorite Christmas movies. I just love, like, watching The 25 Days of Christmas on ABC Family, Home Alone, Home Alone 1 and 2. I love them. Any Christmas movie, I basically love. Question two, are you on the naughty list or the nice list? I am definitely on the nice list. I guess sometimes I could be on the naughty list because everyone can be on the naughty list sometimes, I guess, because, you know, sometimes I, I lie or I, you know, do something wrong. You know, everyone has a reason to be on the naughty list. But most of the time I would say I am on the nice list and I'm very proud of that. Question three, show us an embarrassing Christmas card photo. And I actually don't have one. Um, I don't, like, we don't, like, save our Christmas card photos. And we always pick a picture that, like, me and my sister both really like or both look really good in. So I don't really have an embarrassing one. And then it said, we know you have one, okay? But I really don't have one. Like, my family and I, like, we always pick a picture we all like, so none of us look bad in it. So I can't really say I have an embarrassing Christmas card. So I'm not going to be showing you guys one. And I'm really sorry, because you're probably like, we want to see an embarrassing picture of Erica. But I really don't have any, so I'm very sorry about that. Question four, have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes. Last Christmas where I live, we did not technically have a white Christmas, but the day after Christmas we had a huge snowstorm. So on the 26th it snowed like a ton. So I still consider that a white Christmas because I consider like all of Christmas break like Christmas time, actually right after Thanksgiving and the whole month of December leading up to Christmas, Christmas time, because it's just such a cheery like time and you're in such the Christmas spirit, so I consider all of that Christmas. But yes, I definitely had a few white Christmases where I live. Question five, where do you usually spend your holiday? Okay, so every year since my parents have lived where we live, we have done Christmas Eve at our house. And we've always done it that way, it's always been that way. But this year, both of my parents have to work on Christmas Eve, which is really upsetting. But my uncle, he always spends Christmas Eve with us as well. And I'm not sure what we're doing this year, but I think we are going to the restaurant where my mom works. And then she's going to like be our waitress, and they're going to go like when the restaurant's going to close, so like we're done eating by the time she's done work, if that makes sense. And then we are all just going to head back home and wait for my dad to get home. And then we're just going to, you know, hang out, you know, watch a Christmas story like a million times. Because that's, how could I forget that? That's my favorite Christmas movie. I lied to you guys for question one. Question one, my favorite Christmas movie is definitely A Christmas Story with Ralphie and like, you'll shoot your eye out. I don't know how I forgot about that. That is my favorite Christmas movie. I lied on question one. Favorite Christmas movie, A Christmas Story. There you go. Okay, but what was I talking about? Um, oh, where I usually spend my holiday. And then my cousin Gina is having some of the family over. So we might head over there for some dessert or something and, you know, just go hang out there. And then on Christmas Day, the way my Christmas Day goes is 
We all wake up, and there is a rule in my house that you cannot wake up until after 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. You have to stay asleep until then. And that was so hard for me when I was little. I would literally wake up at like 5 o'clock in the morning, and I would just want to go downstairs and open my presents, but there was a rule that you couldn't, so it was so hard for me because that's all I wanted to do was go downstairs and open my presents. And I would always sneak, so that probably put me on the naughty list because my mom would be like, don't go sneak because don't you know, I don't want to see what Santa brought you. But I would always go and sneak like a bad little girl and look, and then when my mom asked if I did, I'd be like, of course I didn't sneak but now um there's there was always that rule that we couldn't wake up until after nine or ten but now that's so easy for us i always sleep until then anyway and my mom's the one like waking us up being like santa came my mom and dad are like santa came wake up and we're like no we're tired but then we always wake up and then we open all of our presents and then we have a big brunch with my family and my uncle always spends the night with us so he opens presents we get him presents and Santa gets him presents and then we open um, we open all of our presents and then we have a big like brunch and then we go in our stockings and open our stockings and then on Christmas Day my dad usually works but my mom is usually off so then we just hang out around the house look at our new stuff use our new stuff you know it's really fun and then we just get to be cozy and we usually um, make a big dinner a pasta dinner or something and that is how we spend our holiday question six play or sing your favorite Christmas song and I looked at this question and I was like, can't do that because I can't possibly pick one favorite Christmas song that's highly impossible for me because I simply love every Christmas song out there except, I'm sorry if this is any of your guys' favorite Christmas song, but Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. I do not like that Christmas song at all. I think that is kind of a, a vulgar and like rude Christmas song, but that's just my personal preference if you like it. It's just not my kind of Christmas song. But one of my favorite Christmas songs would have to be Michael Crawford singing um, O Night Divine or O Holy Night or Noel. I'm not really... It, I think it has like multiple names, but Michael Crawford has the most amazing voice and that would definitely be one of my favorite Christmas songs. But I'm not going to play it for you guys because I don't want to get any like copyright issues on this video saying that I played a song that wasn't like that I owned and stuff. So, and I'm not going to sing it for you because I clearly can't sing. But that is definitely one of my favorite Christmas songs, but I can never pick just one. Question 7. Do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Yes, every year on Christmas Eve, well, when we usually have it at my house after dinner, my dad goes outside always and takes out the trash, and then he, like, rings the doorbell and shakes ring, uh, bells that we have out front of our house and my mom's always like oh girls like she still does this she's like oh girls I think some elves came and then by the time we get to the door my dad is already like around on the side of the house and he leaves two um, presents on the front step and it is always a pair of pajamas it is always been that is the one present we always open on Christmas Eve and it is always a pair of pajamas so we can like sleep in them on Christmas Eve night and then me and my sister usually get like matching ones or similar ones so we always you know sleep in like Christmas pajamas and then we have cute pajamas to have our presents in in the morning and I know I don't have Christmas gear on the top right now but I have Christmas gear on the bottom um, let me show you I have on my pants I got last year and they have little polar bears on them they're white so even though I do not have Christmas gear technically on the top, I have some Christmas gear on the bottom. And those are the only presents we open on Christmas Eve. We do all of our big present opening and like our actual presents from Santa. We do that all on Christmas morning. Question 8. Can you name all of Santa's reindeer? Duh! Of course I can name all of Santa's reindeer. It goes Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitz, and Rudolph. Question 9. What holiday tradition are you looking forward to most this year? Um, just like the whole Christmas season is a tradition for me and I just love the whole preparation for Christmas, but one of the traditions I'm probably looking most forward to is every year me and my mom and my sister always make green Christmas tree cookies and that's just something we've been doing for as long as I can remember. My mom's always been making them and it's just really fun. One night we all sit around and make cookies and decorate them and stuff and then my mom sends them to friends and to family and stuff so that is one of the like the presents we give out, the green Christmas tree cookies and my mom is like famous for them. Everyone knows about her green Christmas tree cookies. So that is just, you know, a tradition I'm looking forward to because we do it every year and I love eating them because they're like the best cookies ever, so that's a really fun tradition we do. Question 10. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? My Christmas tree is fake and we actually have three Christmas trees. We have a Christmas tree in our family room, which is where most of the presents go, which is where, like, actually all the presents go in there. So we have a fake Christmas tree in our family room, we have a fake Christmas tree in our living room, and then up in our, like, computer room we have a tinsel tree, which is really cute and really cool. And we've just always done fake trees. We used to get real trees when I was really little, but we used to have cats, and they would always, like, climb up the tree and knock it down and get pine needles everywhere, so then we just realized a fake tree was a better idea. And a fake tree is actually kind of easier because you can hang or ornaments on it however you want because you can, like, bend the branches and stuff. But a fake tree is definitely our, my family's preference. So we have fake trees and we have three of them. Question 11. Hands down, what's your all-time favorite holiday food and holiday sweet treat? 
I could not probably pick a favorite holiday food because I love all the holiday foods, but my favorite holiday sweet treat would definitely be my mom's um, green Christmas tree cookies. And also, if you've never had this before, it is the best candy in the world. It is the Ghirardelli Peppermint Bark Squares. <gasps> Holy candy! It is the best candy in the world. Like, I wish they gave it out on Halloween because it is the best candy in the world. It is like a layer of white chocolate with pieces of peppermint inside of it. And then on the bottom layer, there's either dark chocolate or just normal milk chocolate. It is the best candy ever, and it crunches in your mouth, and it's just so nice and minty. I love minty things mixed with chocolate, so they are definitely my favorite holiday sweet treats. Mm. Question 12. Be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? And I actually really do love giving gifts. It's definitely one of my favorite things. I love picking out a personal gift and finding something that I think is going to be perfect for someone. I love doing that, and I love finding like the perfect gift, and I love seeing their expressions when they open them and seeing if they like them like I thought they would. And I just love giving gifts and giving people that feeling of like, I bought them something personal. I think that's so fun. But of course I love receiving gifts as well. That's, you know, not a problem with me. It's kind of fun actually receiving gifts. So I do like receiving gifts. But giving gifts, you just get that warm feeling when what you bought someone, like, they really like. So I just really do enjoy giving gifts, but I also enjoy receiving them because, like, come on, how could you not enjoy receiving gifts from Mr. Claus? It's great. Question 13. Show us your tackiest Christmas attire. I really don't have any tacky Christmas attire because, um, I just don't. I dress pretty cute, not to, like, be cocky or anything, but I don't, like, own any of those, like, holiday sweaters or, like, weird holiday things. I really don't, so I guess my tackiest Christmas attire would be my Christmas pajamas I get every year, but they're really not tacky because they're always from, like, nice stores, so I really... I can't say I have any, like, tacky Christmas attire. I like all my Christmas attire. It's all pretty fancy. Question 14. What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? Um, I actually like staying, staying home for Christmas. I like staying right where I live and just being with my friends and family for the holiday season. But if I had to pick one place to visit for the holiday season, it would probably be Disney World or Disneyland or any of the Disney parks, places, because my family is obsessed with Disney. We have been there over 15 times, and I hear Christmas Disney World is just beautiful. I hear they do all the parks and themes and stuff, so definitely before I die, that is definitely one of the places I want to go. I definitely want to go to Disney World and see it for the holiday season. I don't know if I want to be there like on Christmas and Christmas Eve, but I know for like all of December and some of January, Disney is decorated in like Christmas theme, so I would definitely love to visit there for the holiday season. Question 15. Does your family have a special holiday recipe? or you would like to help make and that is definitely the green Christmas tree cookies I talked about with my mom that is the one consistent thing we make every year for Christmas because when we did Christmas Eve the dinner menu was never the same every year so the one consistent thing we make um, for the holiday season the Christmas season is the green Christmas tree cookies and I just love making them it's such a fun little thing you get to use like a cookie press and then we make some with like little ball sprinkles so it looks like Christmas tree lights and like it's just really fun and I'm so looking forward to making that we're probably going to be making them this weekend or next week so I'm very excited about that. Question 16. Are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? I am definitely a pro. No, I'm just kidding, but I am quite good at wrapping presents and I do love wrapping presents. Any presents that my mom needs wrapping, I always volunteer to do them because I love wrapping presents. I just think it's so fun and you get to make it all like nice and fancy. And I actually learned how to wrap presents one Christmas Eve. My uncle taught me how to wrap and he taught me like all the tricks of the trade because he is a pro wrapper. So then I turned into a pro wrapper and I just love wrapping presents now. Question Question 17, most memorable holiday moment. This is actually on a home movie. I don't remember it because I was so little, but this is like a memor memorable holiday moment and we always laugh at it when we watch this home movie. But um, <clears throat> my parents were filming us coming down the steps on Christmas morning because they always used to do that when we were little. And I was around two, I want to say, so my sister was around six, and she was holding my hand and we were walking down the steps together. And this was the first Christmas where I could really like see Christmas and like visualize Christmas. So my sister was holding my hand and I was looking over our staircase because like that is how you like saw the presents in the tree. So on the video I'm like staring over the um, staircase like immersed in this and my sister didn't realize and she kept walking and then I flew face first down the steps and it is just so funny because I'm on my belly and I'm like sliding down the steps. Thank God they were carpet so I didn't get hurt at all and I, like when my mom picked me up she thought I was going to be crying but I was just in such shock by the presence and I didn't even notice that I went sliding down all these steps but it was just so funny and watching that home video cracks me up because it's so funny like I'm like literally sliding down all these steps and I don't even care because I'm like Christmas, Santa came, there was presents down there, so it's just, it's really funny, but that's probably my most memorable holiday moment, even though I don't quite remember it. 
Question 18. What made you realize the truth about Santa? Um, what are you talking about? This is awkward. Question 19. Do you make New Year's resolutions? Do you stick to them? Yes, I make New Year's resolutions, but I don't make, like, huge ones, not gonna lie. I'll do New Year's resolutions, like, for the rest of the year, or the whole year, I'm gonna try to not be, you know, so, like, stressed and uptight about things, or I'll be like, I wanna get all A's for the rest of the year, or something on my report card. But I do stick to them, but I don't make huge ones. I make ones that I can stick to, which might kind of be like cheating. So I don't do like insane ones. I do ones that I know I can stick to because that's just a lot easier. Question 20. What makes the holidays special for you? Everything. My family makes the holidays so special for me. Just decorating the house makes the holidays special. And being with the people I love and my friends and family and listening to Christmas music and just like the whole preparation for Christmas, I actually like more than Christmas Day itself. Like the whole month of December, everyone is always just in such a good mood and you see holiday displays in stores and you just see Christmas trees up everywhere and that just makes me so excited and gives me such like a light and happiness to me. And Christmas is more than just the presents. Like you think about the message it really gives and it's just so amazing to think about and I don't know just the whole preparation for Christmas makes Christmas so special for me and just I'm so grateful for my family during the holidays and that I I get them for the holidays you know I think it's so sad when people don't get to spend holidays with their family so I'm so grateful that I have my whole family really close and near to me for the holidays and that's just so great that I have that and I don't know, just the whole preparation and the whole season and just everything about Christmas makes the holiday season special for me. Okay guys, so that was the whole Holly Jolly holiday tag and I think it was a really, really fun tag. It was so fun to film and just answer all these questions and it was just a super duper 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 fun tag. So I tag you, I tag any of you watching this video and I tag anyone who just wants to do this video. If you see the title, like if you see this video just pop up and you see Holly Jolly holiday tag, do it. Do this tag, it's really fun. Just whip up a camera, whip up a camcorder from somewhere and film this tag and leave it as a video response or leave all your answers in the comments below because I definitely want to see. I love watching your guys' videos and seeing your guys' faces. So I really hope you enjoyed um, this tag video and I hope you enjoyed my answers because I thought it was really fun. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave anything you guys want to see in the comments below and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys! Do, 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 do.